day 61 of the 75 day challenge just finally getting to <clears throat> my reading of the wealthy gardener and today was just one of those days where you just drag your feet through everything and so here we are at about 10 no 9 30 and i'm just barely getting through all of my tasks now but nonetheless here we are day 61 not my shiniest moment of the challenge so this lesson chapter 4 lesson 48 is accountability and we'll jump right into it we we are all self-made believe the wealthy gardener but only the prosperous admit it one's conditions are the grade of one's past in the garden of life we are growing or dying and our mind is the unseen power the essence of our potential the core of our being we control it or we control nothing. A controlled mind is the force that compels the actions, choices, work, and struggles behind every worthy achievement. An unfocused mind is like the acorn on my desk. We each have a godlike potential in our minds and we are accountable for, the, for it above all else. We honor it or we waste it. Full accountability is taking responsibility for all that is, everything. It is a painful thing to look at your own trouble and know that you, yourself, and no one else has made it, said Sophocles. Mistakes fail in their mission of helping the person who blames them on the other fellow, said Henry Haskins. When we blame outside events for our failures, we lose our ability to change. That last statement really kind of got me thinking about what's going on with this crisis and even personally the position that I'm in as well. And yes, while this crisis itself wasn't anybody's fault, but whatever the outcome ends up being in terms of like, for example, for me personally, whatever the outcome ends up being with my business, it's still my fault for potentially not putting myself in a better position to combat things that are of such a great nature like this crisis. So this is for me even personally like a really great lesson in how to be better prepared and how to think more about um, being better financially prepared, being better mentally prepared for things that you can't foresee, um, for things that you just can't account for, but knowing that throughout life that these things probably will occur and that when they do occur, you want to be ready for those instances. Okay, let's move on. The fault, dear Brutus, wrote Shakespeare, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Full accountability is a belief that empowers we may miss our goals due to external factors, but our daily thinking assures our end victory. 99% of all failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses, said George Washington Carver. We are never unaccountable for the financial conditions. Staying in the wrong career is our fault. Living with insecurity is our fault. Having too little time is our fault. Not amassing savings is our fault. We allow it all and we must own it all. When we blame others or the conditions surrounding us, we give up our power to change. Tony Robbins once said, you always succeed in producing a result. It is a bitter pill to swallow when our results are poor, but the bitter pill is the best medicine for improving a condition. Earl Nightingale offered a memorable quote on accountability when he said, We are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. The life lesson, accountability. I saw that my financial conditions were my own doing, and any other belief was a waste of my brain cells. So I really like that a lot, and I like this a lot really for anybody to relate to, especially during a time like this that... Our financial conditions are our own doing, and we are 100% responsible for it, no matter what it is, for better or for worse. And so I really like this chapter. I think it's really thought-provoking in terms of accountability, <clears throat> and it's something that I see really missing in some of the younger generation, and i purely just saying that from having younger siblings. Um, 
And for whatever reason, that accountability factor is just not there. So this is just a really good lesson in bringing awareness to that and to your own situation and um, really thinking about what it is in future scenarios that you can do to be better positioned and to take more comfort in how well you are prepared for things. So that's something that I'll be thinking about a lot for sure. Um, Not just today or tomorrow, but for the months and years to come because should anything so catastrophic happen, kind of like what we're going through right now, which is catastrophic for a lot of people, I wanna know that I'm prepared for anything, whether that's financially or personally or mentally, I wanna know that I don't ever have that uncertainty of like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be okay or not, you know? Or paying so close attention to what's going on only to try to figure out like how this is gonna play out. I wanna have that certainty and knowing that I've planned for this and that I've got this. So something that I'll be thinking a lot about um, definitely this year for sure and moving forward. But on that note, it is day 61. This is The Wealthy Gardener by John Seferic. You can find um, information to this book in the description down below, as well as information about the challenge in the description down below. And once again, I think that there has been no better time to either read this book or do this challenge or do both. It is such a great um, lesson and exercise in just personal growth and personal development. And I think now more than ever, a lot of people could use it. All right, guys, on that note, date 61, done and done. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.